Hi guys, welcome to It's Tarina. Today I'm doing a DIY project on a satin bonnet. Now here are the materials that you're going to need. Some scissors, some material. I used about a yard for this very large satin bonnet. Here I am, I'm just measuring it just to make sure that the materials that I'm using are around the same length. Now I also have thread and I think I got, oh, and also elastic. You can use thin elastic or, a, or large elastic. It really depends upon you. Now for this one, I'm putting both the fabrics together, making sure that the pattern side are stuck together. So they're both facing. And I'm just going to sew around this pattern that I have cut out here. And it's just in a square. So this satin bonnet is a little unique because it's really large and they're, it's gonna have some corners on it so that you can tie it if you wish. So here I am just sewing all the corners and you can also sew this by hand or you can use glue. Well, I don't really recommend glue, but you can use it if you're in a pinch. It just leaves some really odd looking uh, stains sometimes. So that's why I don't like glue. But now I'm just finishing sewing up each corner of the fabric. And there you see, I'm making sure to leave a hole so that I can put the elastic in. Now I'm just cutting off the extra fabric. And now I'm gonna turn the fabric inside out. So it's pretty simple. All you do is just sew straight lines across this square fabric. And again, I used about a yard of fabric for this. If you don't want to have any corners to where you can tie up the bonnet, you can also cut the pattern in a circle or like an oval shape. There's my cat Charlie Sheen back there. Now after I sew it and flip it the right side, then I just take my iron and kind of just flatten it out a bit. You don't really need to do it, but it helps you sew everything a lot neater if it is ironed. And I chose to use a sewing machine for this DIY because it's much, much faster. But again, you can sew it by hand. It does take a bit longer, but it's definitely doable. So I'm sewing right along the edges because I want this bonnet to have kind of like a rippled effect. So I'm sewing at the ends and then I'm gonna sew again so that the elastic can go through. So all in all, I sew it at the beginning and then I flip it around, sew it again. See, there's the hem there. And then I'm gonna go back through and sew it two more times so that the elastic can go through. Making sure to keep that hole open so that I can stick the elastic through there. So here's the elastic that I chose. I chose some really small elastic, but you can use any type. Now I'm just showing you here that I'm gonna sew right there where my fingers are. If you don't wanna sew it like that, you can also just sew one line across and put thicker elastic right there. And it just won't give you the, the rippled effect at the, at the edge. Again, I'm just showing you where I'm going to put the elastic and where I'm going to sew it. And I'm just gathering it up to show you what the ends will look like after it's sewn. So I'm just going back in and then I'm showing you about how far I'm going to sew into the fabric so that I can have that nice rippled effect and have the corners available so that I can tie it at the end. I'll show you pictures of that as well. I don't have the video clips of me tying it, but you'll see it in future videos. And then I'm just gonna take um, a measuring tape to kind of show you about how far in I'm gonna sew. And I believe I left two inches. So 
So yeah, that's about, about how much fabric I left out right there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and sew the line straight down on all four sides. I haven't been on my sewing machine in such a long time, so I'm a little rusty, and I'm not by any means a seamstress. I just do little things here and there. So if I can do this, anybody can do this. I'm almost done locking in that last stitch there. Making sure to leave that opening so that I can put the elastic through. Now if you just want to put one thick piece of elastic, you're done with it there and then you could just sew up the opening. But I'm going to go back in and make another stitch just so that I can have the ripple effect on the edges. And I'll show you here how that looks. Just cutting off the extra thread to keep it nice and neat. And I'm showing you where I'm gonna go ahead and sew and what it looks like once it's gathered. Sorry, the camera's a bit shaky here. Uh, my sewing my sewing machine was pretty much shaking everything in the house. <laughs> and my camera is so close to the sewing machine and the table, it's kind of hard to prevent the vibrations of the sewing machine. But see, there you go. Um, see, I just sewed... Um, two lines there so the elastic can fit through that little tunnel. And now I'm all finished. So I take my elastic and I'm going to go ahead and stick it through that opening. Using a safety pin, I'm going to stick that elastic through. It really helps to push the elastic through. And I'm gonna keep on pushing that safety pin until I get all around the bonnet. This satin bonnet is very versatile. On the outside I use a cotton fabric and on the inside I use satin. But if you want it a reversible bonnet, you can use satin on both sides. So that way you could switch it to either side and have different patterns or colors. Just speeding this up for you guys and putting that elastic through. And once you get the elastic through, then you want to fit the bonnet on your head so that you know about how much elastic you want to cut off. And once you fit it to your head, then you want to pull it through and then tighten it with a knot. I'm sorry, secure it with a knot. So this is what it's looking like right now. And see how there is some corners on the bonnet? Those are really cute because you can either tie them or tuck them in at night and it kind of gives you a different feel of a bonnet. So we're just about done. So I pulled the elastic through and I'm getting ready to tie it. Just kind of showing you guys what it looks like pulling it out to give you guys an idea of how your bonnet will look and you see how you have those ruffly ends if you just sewed around the bonnet one time then you wouldn't have that you would just have the elastic at the end instead of the ruffles 
Now we're just going to go back in and close that opening after we tie it off. And we're just going to sew right along those lines right there. So here I am just sewing up or just closing those openings. Since there's two lines, I'm sewing it twice. This part I feel would be easier if you do it by hand you don't have to move the machine around or anything like that. Now I'm just cutting off the excess thread. And that's about it. Here's the bonnet, you guys. I really hope you like this DIY tutorial. I love satin bonnets. They are great for natural hair. Don't forget to watch my other videos, like me on my other socials, and check out my website. It's Tarina.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.